Hey guys, as musky anglers, we are obsessed with gear. You just got to look right behind me to know that. But what actually helps you catch fish and what accessories or little things that you can do to your lures will help you catch more fish? We're going to show you three of them. Stick around. We're going to start right now. Sometimes little things are just taken for granted and they're things that we overlook because we just don't think we need them or we don't know where they're going to fit in how we fish. And I've talked about them before on other videos, but the little magnets, this is the Pro Magnets from Muskie Innovations. A couple different companies make something similar. These are the ones that we use. We have some from Water Wolf as well. They just work so awesome on rubber lures to keep your hooks up out of the way. We talked about it on the video where we talked about the Munts weedless hooks. Here's one that I have on a Bondi Royal Orba. They're just awesome for keeping hooks up on rubber baits, keeping them out of the way. And if you want to use these around shallow rocks or weeds, it just keeps you from getting fouled up or getting snagged up. And it's just one that we go through a ton of them. We put them on a lot of our rubber baits. Here's one on a Pegasus. And this way that front hook stays up out of the way and I can stair step this down a rock and I don't have to worry about that front hook hanging down, getting caught up. And it's just nice and clean and simple like that. Again, like I say on a Bondi Royal Orba, one of the issues with a Bondi is that that front hook I'll grab one here. When you cast, the front hook sometimes gets hooked up on the rubber or gets fouled around your leader. And we just started using them like that. And that's absolutely one of the best ways to use it, just to keep those hooks up out of the way on rubber baits. Okay, sticking with the Bondi Royal Orba here, I talked about these months hooks on another video. That video is right here. But for us, they were just an awesome accessory, something that we didn't really know we needed until we started using them. I can use this Bondi Royal Orba in the weeds as long as I can get it through without the body being snagged up. This thing's going to run pretty much weedless. And the combination of having the weedless hook, having the magnet on there to keep it tight, you can pretty much do anything with this lure that you can do with, like, say, a spinner bait. And again, that just the combination of a weedless hook and the magnet just makes these things so versatile. You can use them in places that you typically wouldn't dare to run a rubber bait. So definitely for us, got to have these weedless hooks. You don't need them on everything you have, but they're definitely specific to certain areas that you want to fish, getting in and out of the weeds. And for us, it was one of our top accessories that we just didn't know we needed last year. The next thing we're going to talk about is blade attachments or attachments for the front of lures. A lot of different companies make this spinner bait arm style. This one here is from Drop Time Tackle. That's based off of their triple deuce. We run it in front of Poseidon, Swimming Dogs. You can troll this. You can cast it. For us, it works really well trolling. Uh, I have some back here from Lebowski Lures, Hog Collar they call it, with some weight in it. Awesome, versatile thing that you can use for casting rubber to get down deeper or for trolling. So definitely want to have some of these spinner bait style arms for rubber baits. We go back to these quite often. And it's again, it's one of those things you didn't really know you needed until you started using it. So there's a bunch of different styles of attachments that you can put in front of basically any type of rubber blade or any other type of bait and some column dozers, just blade attachments. This one's in front of a Grubzilla. And it just gives an added extra thump to your bait. Grubzilla, he also has a buzz blade attachment for it. So there's a bunch of different styles that, that work. And for us, one that we kind of stumbled upon with the help of my buddy Matt is we take the head off of an Angry Dragon chatterbait. So we'll take that part off and we run it in front of a Bondi Royal Orba. And now this thing just chatters and thumps through the water. You get all the benefit of the flash and the tail of a Bondi Royal Orba with that chatter beat style ahead. So don't be afraid to experiment. This is one that I just took off of Bondi Royal Orba. You could also run this in front of a tube. 
there's just a bunch of different things that you can do. So between having like a dozer style, having the spinner bait style attachment, using the head off a chatter bait or a buzz bait, just experiment on different beats and see what you can come up with. And for us, that's one of the best accessories that we used last year, just having different styles of attachments in front of lures. Little accessories like this, like the weedless hooks, like the blade attachments, they don't get talked about much in the industry because we're all drawn to the lures. Everybody wants a new lure. They think a new lure is going to do something better for them than what they had. And sometimes it's just little tweaks. A little tweak like this just makes this Bondi Royal Orba able to do so much more for us. Putting these magnets on here just allows me to use this swimming bait in a spot that I might not have otherwise. Same goes with putting blade attachments. It just allows me to use this in a different position. Check out the videos right here to see a little bit more of what we're talking about in action underwater. And until next time, 54 Bust is out of here. We'll catch you guys out on the water later.